There we go. I think I'm better now. So. We're good there. Okay. So, I hope you're hearing me all right. And we are currently at Romeoville, Illinois, on our way around Chicago, but staying under Class B airspace. This is the Chicago, strong Chicago land flying. And it's getting the weather, and then we're going to be on our way. So. One three four eight, which means we're gonna take off of runway nine. Okay, <clears throat> so for good, here's one of my fellow members over there. He's uh, departing out. <clears throat> I didn't hear him, but all right. Lewis traffic, Cessna 489er Echo Foxtrot taxiing to runway 9. Lewis. Looks good. Tranquil air seems to be working. Still, just want to make sure I wasn't echoing because I have our monitor off. Someone's got a hot mic. Uh, someone's yeah, pushed, to, pushed to talk. I knew it. Is, I know who it is from the breathing. Hi, hot mic. Yeah, you were over here in your breath. It's hot. Yeah. Leonard, uh, what runway are you planning for at Lewis? Lewis traffic, Scott, uh, 13273 is crossing runway 27 to the south. Alright. <clears throat> Just seeing what runway he was taking. Uh, I'm just gonna go runway 9. Lewis Charles, 1327 clear, 3 is clear, runway 27, taxiing Bravo to runway 9er. That would be correct. Lewis traffic, November 214, Mike is taxiing yep. to runway 9er, okay, Lewis. 5x5. Five five. <clears throat> just had a check there, because he was going the other way. Else's. So, I'm going to solve that problem. to fix these LED lights that keep dangling. Uh, another time. Another time. Lewis traffic, Cessna, 9R Echo Foxtrot so crossing like I'm runway 220 two uh, at Bravo. Lewis. So I'm on the ground. Good there. Oh, it looks like it's pretty good weather out here in Chicago. And uh, the biggest thing is just staying on the class Bravo. Something that'll be a worthwhile skill. If you're watching us tonight, please again feel free to subscribe. Push the like button if you're on YouTube. If you're on Twitch, please push the follow button. And let's get this thing started, shall we? That said, we're going to take a nice tour of the city. From South Ramp, Bravo, 209er Lewis. And if I remember right, I did install the Jewiski, uh Chicago scenery, so I'm hoping that comes out.
tomorrow in real life, if there's not thunderstorms and all that stuff that's been creeping up up here, I will hopefully be doing some type of cross-country flight. I have to start getting my cross-countries going, because if I want to do my instruments sometime, I have to at least have 40 out of the 50 done, so I'm not wasting my time, and the other 10 have to be instrument related, so. But we'll see about that. I'm supposed to fly a friend, but he don't want to go because of storms, which is totally understandable. But, uh, we'll see how the weather goes. The updated weather report did not look good, though. Okay. No one on that one. No one on final. No one on base. Caught it. Lewis traffic, Cessna 9 at Echo Foxtrot, departing runway 9, departure to the east. Lewis. Lewis traffic, November 214, Echo Mike, crossing runway 220 at Bravo, Lewis. Lewis traffic, 13273, crossing runway 20 at Bravo, in sequence, Lewis. Alright. Let's get this event started. Switch into GPS, I know where I'm going. I'm going to take a little route around Chicago first. And then our first destination is going to be Chicago, a Chicago Executive. So here we go. On the floor. In the middle. Blue traffic, four flight clear of 220. Rotate at 55, climb at 73. Lewis traffic, Cessna 1 Mike Alpha, cross from runway 02 at Bravo, Lewis. Lewis traffic, Cessna 1 Mike Alpha, clear the runway, Lewis. Should check my trim wheel, but I think we're okay because it's not going nuts. So that's good. It's a good thing. I might have checked Lewis that earlier. November 214, Mike, lining up a runway niner for the for departure to the east, Lewis. Lewis traffic, Red Robin is 10 north for left time on runway niner, Lewis. Lewis I plan for 2,000, which will keep us under Class Bravo. Uh, on this outer ring here, Class Bravo starts at 3,600. And then we'll monitor as we go. traffic, Kodiak, we'll be entering a midfield uh, left downwind for runway 11. That's going to be the hardest thing. And also, these airports are pretty strung together, but I want to show you something here. Traffic, Here's the VAT two, USA like Flying Club. Uh, <laughs> wow. This is the first USA traffic. Flying Club here. And we're all around. We're scattered all around Chicago. And we're going to stay under Class Bravo. Leveling out at 2000. We're going to trim it out here. Gain some speed and then I'll pull back on um, throttle. back just a little bit. There we go. Shelburne traffic, Kodiak turning left base, 1-1. One, one. Lewis traffic, 13273, departing runway 9 or left 45, departure to the northeast, Lewis. You're basically going to hear a lot of Unicom traffic here because we're all using the Vatsim Unicom until we get to Chicago Executive, which has some staff on there because it's Class D, so it is towered. And it is towered tonight on that sim, which is awesome. We're right on track, following that GPS straight out. Straight out. Again, I don't know what the frame hit's going to be here. It's actually some scenery. Stalled, Juliki with Orbex. So we'll see. But uh, I did buy the pre-order on Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 today. Just had the pre-order start today. It's too good to not buy it. And I justify the purchase because I had to cancel my last flight due to weather and probably tomorrow's. So that made up for the amount of money. I decided to go all in. I got the deluxe version. 
and I cannot wait till it drops in five weeks. So hopefully it's not delayed at all, and uh, it'll be good. We'll definitely stream that if I can, and uh, show you what it looks like on this computer. So. Alright, coming up on Orlando Park ahead, and that would be this area right around here. I am looking at a terminal area chart. Traffic which provides some more data so you can understand right yeah. around the terminal area of Chicago. And it's going very well, so. And jumper traffic, Kodiak, clear one more. I decided to start out at Lewis University Airport, or whatever that was. Uh, because I want to do the scenic route first, get the executive, get the class D out of the way, and then we'll just have fun flying the rest of the route. So. This is with real time and real weather. So I don't live in Chicago, so I can't tell you if this looks like the real deal, but this is what it looks like in the sim. Also on the Airflight channel for YouTube, I uh, put up my latest flight there, so feel free to check that out. That was to get reacquainted with the 172N, which I am flying right now. Again, we had a custom paint job for this one, made by me. November 489er Echo Foxtrot looks really good, really, really happy. Got tons of traffic out there, beautiful weather, can't go wrong at all. I even went into the cockpit now. There's Chicago in the distance, by the way, over there. But I did some special little things here, you know? Got some inlays in the seat, changed the color of the interior. But I didn't do too much with the cockpit because the way that they had these textures here, it made it a little funky. Like if you colored this a different color here on the, on the dash here, it would change the flap color switch because they must have used the texture from there to also texture this. Lewis traffic, Red Robin, so. Space, final runway 9 All right, let's get outside viewing some Chicago views. There you go, Chicago in the distance. Again, I believe I did install Jaliki Chicago X scenery, I think they call it. But uh, that's a beautiful sight right there. The only time I've ever been to Chicago is when I flew with a connection through the city. I never got out of the airport though. So, hope to do that sometime. Jumper traffic, Kodiak will be departing 1-1 for uh, departure to the south. Okay, we're over to Orlando, uh, Orland Park, sorry. I almost said Orlando, it's right here. That's called the Old Land Lake out there on our left. Hills traffic, Cardinal 410 Hotel, after taxi runway 80. And the scenery looks really, really good. You're double dipping on the Discord and uh, view account. So. Well, traffic, Red Robin's clear on my non Alright, we're trying to keep it at 2000. The jumper traffic code is part of the so. Look, we are in class Bravo above us. It's above us at 3,600, so we're still good. Staying underneath that class Bravo. But uh, some of the busiest airspace right here. Cumber traffic, Skyway going to Fort Myers, Charlie left down in 1 1, full stop, Cumber. We also have some Class C right next to us as well. Do not want to venture over there. 
and that would be from Chicago Midway. So I'm right on the border there. I gotta head over to the right a little bit, a little bit more south, but we're good. We're still outside of it. We're not breaking it. <laughs> but uh, wow, what a hell of an airspace here. Again, we're gonna go right up the coast, past some places. Uh, I guess the stadiums could just count them as inactive, but there would be temporary flight restrictions around Soldier Field and stuff like that by Comiskey Park. So, there's actually four stadiums along the coast. And again, when they say monitor tower, does that mean switch the tower? Yes. You switch the tower and you listen, he's going to call you. That's the Discord for the Virtual USA Flying Club. So you got to hear a lot of off you to come chatter there. Somber traffic, Skyway 124, my Charlie, final runway 114, stop. Somber traffic. Ground speed, By the way, three knots. Any questions about executive? I'm a controller at ZAU, so I can just pop into their uh, Discord. Real quick, if you guys have any questions, I need to ask them. How much are the hot dogs? Take a slight turn to the left. We're going to stay out of class Charlie airspace from Chicago Midway. And also really avoid Chicago here as class B at the same time. So there's a class C underneath the class B outside Chicago. And we're going to stay under class B. So that way the floor of it is 3,600. In real life, it would be the same way, obviously. And when we get over the water, we'd also have to be careful of... Uh, University Kodiak is 10 miles to the north and down. Airline traffic coming in. Combat traffic for my Charlie is clear. Lake Michigan. The runway taxiing back to so, the traffic. We'll keep an eye out, but again, this is Matt Sim, so I don't see us doing that. We'll go look at Chicago, if you will. Getting closer. It's in the distance there. And we're going to go right up this coast, right up that coast past Chicago, on our way to Chicago, Chicago Executive. Excellent picture taking up to these. Uh, got one person in right back there at 1,500 feet. They are okay still. With class C. And that's all we got right now. I know I had another person following me, but one three two seven three. Gonna hover around 2,000. Getting anything under 3,000 is basically pilot's discretion. You have to follow like east-west rule or anything like that. As long as you're under 3,000, but you do want to maintain vigilance, traffic. We got that guy up there at 1,500. I'm at 2,000. That's a pretty good separation. Skimming that Class C. Class C's over there. At 1,900, 1,900 tops of Class Bravo. 3,600. So. He's definitely legal over there, so good pilotage from that person over there. Number 13273. We're going to hang it out wide here to the southeast a little bit, and then we're going to head right northeast a little bit to uh, skim the coast of Chicago.
That's going to be some good scenery. So. Tricky design is definitely installed. I got highways. I got some little scenery, satellite imagery down there, I believe. Looks really, really nice. Let's see how much it's hurting the frames, though. I've got this thing locked at 30. We're running on one wire, 1920 by 1080, but we are streaming at the same time, and it's keeping up. It's keeping right around 30 frames. So uh, I'm liking it so far. I think as we get closer to Chicago, it's going to get just a little bit more hairy on the frame rate, but we'll see. And let's look at the interior here. Some interior shots. Take a turn to the left in about, oh, seven nautical miles more. But, uh, we're really happy with that. So outside shots, ECCA, that's the software I use, has different pre-programmed views. Check out this view. It's a nice front view right there. Ah, look who's following that aircraft. That's right, it's me. On the other side, V4. So you can actually program these views, which is pretty nice. I know the time. Uh, Kodiak is uh, three miles to the north. We'll be entering a left downwind for zero nine. I know it took the time to program the views except for my cockpit view, but uh, Oh, there he is. November 314 Echo Mike. It's out there. That's the other one I was looking for. Ooh, that's a nice shot. Chicago in the distance. We're out right of class Charlie, which is right over there. But we also got Bravo above us at 3,600 again. So, last view we're going to check right in front. Looks good. Let's go back to the cockpit. There we go. Alright, let's take a turn to the left. We are clear. I got traffic on my left over there, though. And turning slightly to the left. Just a gentle turn. To the north. King of the North. Territory. Los University traffic. Kodiak is midfield on this left downwind. One way nine. All right, Chicago's right in front of us. Beautiful views. I'm gonna double check my altitude. We are good at 2,000. All the way up the coast. From what I'm seeing with my sectional, the lowest it drops down to is 3,000 as the floor of Class Bravo. And then we gotta look out for Chicago Exec. We gotta contact them with all that stuff. So I'll get that set up on my tablet here using a Ver again. Android so tablet. Kodiak is uh, left base from my Again, we're just staying on Unicom because we're in the class Bravo. We don't want to fear too much. What a beautiful sight, huh? Look at that. Chicago, Chicago, that bus in the town. Again, outside view again. Beautiful. Look at that. University of Kodiak is final runway 9, full stop. Nice looking view. All right, let's take a look at this frame rate again, but I'm going to take a slight turn to the northwest to go right along there in a second. Now I'm still pulling 30. Occasionally dips down a little bit, but that's not bad for all this scenery. So, all right, slight turn to the northwest.
Looks pretty authentic. Not that I know a lot about Chicago, it looks like, but... Not sure what you design. Really nice scenery. Those traffic, Kodiak is uh, back taxiing and uh, going to follow uh, follow the traffic. There we go. Now fly right by the city. Exactly. Traffic. 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 Ish, and we're gonna stay there. Right now, there'd be some stadium TFRs if anything was being played over there. Roger that. But uh, I don't really see anything going on. Remember one more What's the goal of it? So, gotta pretend they're not there. Yeah, go ahead. Ships down there. Ooh, nice sunset. Check that out. Yeah, look at that. It's gonna turn into evening here. But uh, wonderful downtown Chicago. Good service in traffic. Kodiak will be departing runway nine for uh, departure to east. Lewis traffic, Cali going to Port Montreal, it's 10 miles to the north. And you're preparing to left down for runway 9. Lewis. Again, the floor of class Bravo is 3,000 or 2,000. More than enough room. Traffic to South Gulf, departing runway 1, runway 2, 5, 5, Soldier Field is going to be on our left. Guys, if someone's trying to contact me on Unicom, I'm sorry, I can't understand what uh, what you're asking. So if you could, if you're on here, let me know what, what you need. I'm happy to help. Mixed Field would have been here. If you're a fan of Microsoft Flight Simulator, that's yeah, where. Try and see if you're on frequency. The default. Airport oh, okay. Thanks for the clarification. Yeah, sim, I just couldn't couldn't make out with uh, uh, background noise in my house. <laughs> prepared definitely Got some not. Family involved. things happen in mind there. It's kind of a travesty uh, the way that happened. Junior first officer. But Soldier Field right here. And again, Mix would have been right here. That was a beautiful airport. Would have loved to fly there in real life. I believe that's the call the Sears Tower. And uh. Yeah. Really, really nice. Turn in just a little bit. Really beautiful scenery. They even have the fountain down there. If you know uh, Married with Children, I think they used that fountain in Married with Children on the opening. Old show back in the day. Some of you might not remember that show, but I'm not going to call myself old. I'm not going to do it. Was that the first Buell's day off, too? It might have been. It might have been seen really fast in it, so. That was bad to be back off through the area. It's not bad. It's not bad. Beautiful sights. Number 
Yeah, we knew they had a lighthouse out here. Cool. It's a lot of scenery, so it's still loading a little bit. But, uh, I could turn settings down, but honestly, I like the way they are. It's kind of a nice balance. Sometimes on these heavy sceneries, it takes a little bit. But, uh, for the most part, I get pretty good scenery. Pretty good frame rate. Yeah, drop down now. We're about 20, 19, to back to 25 sometimes on the frame rate, so. Definitely worth the view, though. Beautiful. Alright, we are on our way to Chicago Executive. Chicago O'Hare is out there. Don't know if you can see that. It's actually more of a wall forward. We will not venture inland to see that until we're at Chicago Exec, and I don't even know if we're going to see it then, so. I'm wondering if that's following the real world frequencies, because sometimes they don't, sometimes they do. Well, one to one team. Well, that is the real world frequencies, so I'm going to have no problems in this airport diagram. ADIS is 124.2. And let's turn some panel lights on here. Lewis University traffic, Skyway 124, Mike Charlie is left downwind, runway 9, full stop, taxi bay. There's a visual of the Baha'i Temple, is that what it's called? That would be right here, up the distance. So we'll see if that scenery is there, but uh, quite interesting. Got a nice sunset and a trip past Chicago tonight. Campbell traffic, we brought me up there, runway should also be Northwestern University yeah, over here. So. As soon as I get around there, that's when I'll check the weather for uh, executive. So. Again, just have to stay under 3,000, even for executive. Uh, executive class D is 3,000 to the surface. So, we'll just go right into their airspace after getting clearance and go land this thing, so. Should I, or should Depends I not one 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 get some background music on? I think I'm good today. Person. I'm not going to use the Bluetooth dongle adapter. I'm just going to go fly. Well, we're going to shoot the right now. I don't have to do one more thing. I'm not sure. We're talking to 7,000 deaths. There you go. It's right long scenery. Right. That just takes a while. Right. Yeah, we're going to see the Skyhawk 816. This is an i9-9900K and an RTX 2080 8 gigabyte card. So, just goes to show you that. This takes quite a lot of power for the scenery. What's up, Sky Blue Radio? How's it going? Nice that you uh, join us on Twitch. Usually won't listen to you guys, not listening to you tonight though, because I'm keeping the Bluetooth adapter out of the headset. But uh, I will be tuning in to you eventually. We'll get through Class D here. Maybe I'll pop this in, start tuning in. It's always a good time at Blue Sky Radio. 
And, uh, yeah. Hey, if you can do me a favor, leave the link to this in Sky Blue Radio for other people to see, too, on and the Twitch. And the traffic Skyhawk 7 is actually departing runway 09 to the southwest. Let me do quick, actually. Let me see if I can do that. I did the old Twitch streams. I didn't do this one. I'm actually going to put the live thing right now under uh, other media. Sh I should have probably put it Flight Sim Media, so let me do that too. ATL traffic, number 231 pop. Uh, yeah, I take a turn here. Eight miles. To the west pretty soon. North of the field. There you go. So I got my links on there. Eight. I'll be tuning in soon. Like I said, let me get through Class Delta. And then we'll be fine. We're going to check into. Executive's weather right now. So that's 124.2. See what's shaking there. to me actually, so, Oscar, but you have to check the actual vet sim, it is now, 118.0, 3 zero, zero, zero. arrivals expect visual approach, runway 16 and runway 12, landing and departing intersecting runways 16 and runway 12, Notice there an all aircraft contact ground 121.70. All VFR departures advise type aircraft and direction of flight. VFR departures be aware of the O'Hare Bravo airspace off the field. IFR departures expect a Milwaukee 5 departure. Read back all runway, hold short instructions and altitude assignments. Advise if you have information November. November. Okay. Chicago Executive, ATIS information November time 2352 Zulu, wind 1209, visibility 10. Sky conditions clear, temperature 262.15, altimeter 3000, arrivals expect visual approach, runway 16 and runway 1. Go back to Unicom, and we'll get the tower frequency in there before we get over there, 118.9. All good. So we're going up to Highland Park, straight ahead. Then we're going to take a left to Chicago XX. So I'm going to call them up when I get over to Highland Park ahead. Ground speed 119 knots right now. Making good time. Really appreciate you watching though. So, enjoy. Two-year-old on board. I love you. Have a good night, okay? And... Making the hills traffic. Skyhawk 7 on, Lima X-ray. Ten to the northeast. That's Maddie, everybody. Circle stop landing. Lake in the hills. That wouldn't happen in real life, obviously. So, just letting you know. <laughs> All right. Number runway one six or one two. Allen Park right in front of us. Get one more outside shot here before we uh, have to do all this communicating class. We got some traffic out there, and that is where Executive is. So that's where we're heading. Nice sunset. This is prepared version five. I do have a uh, reshade on this and Orb X and Drewicki design Chicago scenery. Looks pretty good. All right, let's get back in the cockpit and fly this thing. 
Go to tower. Executive tower, November 489 Echo Foxtrot. November 489 Echo Foxtrot, Executive Tower. Uh, Cessna, Niner Echo Foxtrot, currently 15 miles to the northeast with November to land. November 489 Echo Foxtrot, you said you're 15 miles to the northeast? I hope I did, 15 <laughs> miles to the northeast. November 489, Echo Fox, Roger. Uh, enter a left base for runway 16 and uh, report, uh, or actually proceed direct uh, to the field and uh, I'll sequence you from there. Roger, uh, going direct. Matter Echo Fox, Paul Paul Lucky Tower, uh, Kodiak 349, Mike's 10 miles to the southeast, inbound full stop. Get down to planet altitude. November 34. Or, uh, November 3, 4, Niner, Niner, Mike, say your position again. Tell now Mike is uh, just out over the lake, about 10 miles to the southeast of the airport. Cruise and descent. And November 3, 4, Niner, Niner, Mike, uh, enter a left downwind runway 16. 1,700 ish, so we're there. Left downwind runway 16. Right it's about 1,700. 314, uh, Echo Mike, can you confirm that you're uh, squawking Mo Charlie? Uh, I will squawk my Charlie, November 214, Mike. And uh, Kodiak 3499, Mike, can you confirm your squawking mode, Charlie? Uh, 9 and Mike, stand by. All right. Again, we've got to maintain a little bit more silence here as I... 9 and Mike, is that better? It is. Listen to... Uh, Sorry about that. Tower. And uh, 9 9 Mike, enter a left downwind runway 16. 9 9 Mike, left downwind 16. Got my plate out here on my tablet. And 314, uh, Echo Mike, say your position. Uh, 314, Echo Mike, approximately 4 to the east. And 314, uh, Echo Mike, roger. More? Uh, uh, 8 9 Echo Foxtrot, uh, traffic say. Uh, 172 departing uh, to your right at about 500 feet above. Shouldn't be a factor. Traffic in sight, Niner Echo Foxtrot. Niner Echo Foxtrot, fly a left downwind runway 16. Left downwind, uh, left downwind runway 16 for Niner Echo Foxtrot. 16. And sorry, let me get the call sign straight. Uh, 489 Echo Foxtrot, left base runway 16. Left base runway 16, Niner Echo Foxtrot. All right, so we're going to hang out here. Going to the west a little bit more. And airport is right there. November 13273, leaving my airspace. Frequency change to advisors approved. See ya. All right, car beat on. Let's go down to... 9-8, uh, Papa. Uh, Nine leaving my airspace to the north. Frequency change to advisors approved. Uh, proceed on course. 10 degrees of flap. 98 Papa, change advisory approved. Uh, thanks a lot. Have a good evening. Well, left base. 489 Echo Fox Trot, runway 16, wind 1209, clear to land. Clear to land, runway 16, 9 Echo Fox Trot. <clears throat> 314 Echo Mike, uh, runway 16, your number up. 2, wind 1209, clear to land. Number 2, clear to land, November 314 Mike. We'll and uh, 314 Echo Mike, uh, traffic uh, should be about your 10 to 11 o'clock and about two miles if you can report them in sight. Traffic in sight, 4 Echo Mike. Yes, yeah, so runway 16. Just maintain six. visual separation from that traffic. Really quick. That's executive. And we'll take a. Uh, and Kodiak and Niner Niner Mike, executive tower, you can proceed direct the field for now. Niner Mike, direct the field. Should be about 70, 75. It's looking good. This car in auto model is underpowered, so I have to keep an eye on the airspeed more than usual. Can't trust the RPM settings that well. And peripheral vision's always better in the real world, but I don't think that's that bad. Here we go. I wanna keep it about 70. <clears throat> Trim it down just a little bit. Have it's on, just double checking. That'd be bad if it wasn't. Just in case.
those lower RPM settings. And straighten it out just a little bit more. 30 degrees. Trim down a little bit more. Looking pretty good. Switch the plate so I have it. And 40 degrees. Keep this thing 65, 60. Glide scope. Looks pretty good. I like to be a little higher. Looking really good. Have some virtual USA Flying Club members here. I do have to pull over and file for the next leg. But uh, here we go. Flaring. Flare. Clear. There we go. We're well off center, but not that bad. Aerodynamic braking, flaps up, car heat off. 489 Echo Fox, Trail. welcome to executive turn to right, contact ground point seven. Ground 1.7, 49 Echo Fox, Trail. Probably should have went to the next one, but you know, let's get off here. Clear the runway first here. And... Yeah, 99 Mike, yeah. runway uh, one one six, one your number two, wind 1209, clear to land. Do VFR pattern work, type SR22. Executive ground, November 489, Echo Foxtrot. November 489 Air Echo Foxtrot, Executive Ground, go ahead. Uh, 9 Air Echo Foxtrot, currently at Kilo 1, requesting taxi to the FBO Atlantic. 89 Air Echo Foxtrot, going across Lima into the Atlantic. Roger, crossing Lima to Atlantic, 9 Air Echo Foxtrot. Sorry about that, 37 Bravo Sierra. Can you repeat, I got SR-22 for your type, where were you headed? Clock over here at Atlantic. Yeah, we're just going to want to do nice some scenery over here. here. Are you requesting flight following at this time? Yeah, sure. We'll and take flight we'll following. And we'll keep the engine moving here while we refile our flight plan for the next leg. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to swing it around here and face forward. So we've got a question for anybody flying around Chicago. Uh, are you guys talking to Chicago Center at all on this? Uh, no. He is. The only people we'll be talking to is Pawaukee, which is towered. The rest is going to be remaining clear of the Bravo. Okay. We're just staying underneath and talking to Tower. All right. Yep. Walking uh, Tower. Looking pretty good. The LTC we interact with if we do this right, at least. All right. I got to go on my... Not to disappoint Daryl there, but... ...be pilot here and redo the flight plan. Our next leg will be from Executive to Charlie81 Campbell. So let's put that in there. November 737 Bravo Sierra, Executive Ground Source, oh, so you're cleared uh, IFR, sorry, maintained via IFBFR, sure, uh, 1800 so as sure block 5102, departure to be on 134.87. Maintain VFR 1800 below, 5102 yeah. on the squawk, so keep it at 2, departure 3487, Sun Bravo Sierra, and just to clarify, we and just want to do pattern work off of 1-6 tonight. It's just a little distracting though to see all those targets from the Copy Bravo. that, expect from way 1-6. Alright, well, that worked out pretty good. Executive ground November, you want to start my clear of 1-6 at Kilo You said it looks great. Uh, request awesome. parking to uh, the FBO. Looking to go straight across the Atlantic there, uh, November 314, Echo Mike. Straight across to Atlantic 4, Echo Mike. Echo Mike over there. Give him some space before I go back out. I am on the ground frequency. And also let me update my tablet here. Okay. Nice scenery. I'm really liking the Drewicki design. Scenery here. Uh, let's get some Sky Blue Radio on, too. I know that you left me, but I know that you're busy. So if you're wondering what I do, this is a real aviation headset. It has an eighth inch in. And I have the Bluetooth dongle hooked up to my phone. And I just type in Sky Blue Radio. 
and stream the radio ever so quietly in the background. Easy as that. So, shout out to Sky Blue Radio though. Thanks for uh, tuning in. So, all right, Sky Blue Radio <clears throat> in the headphones. I'm waiting for. Follow your ground zero seven three seven bro zero down at Hawthorne and Oscar Rift Tactical Number Six. Reporting points. I see we're not doing that. All right. Three seven Bravo Sierra oh, runway one six oh, taxi the echo hold short runway two four. It's not me that's for you. Echo short two four. Some Bravo Sierra. Ground Cody echo clear at Lima two. Last aircraft calling ground repeat. Yeah, Cody echo is at Lima two clear the runway. Yes again. Copy that. Where are you going today, sir? I didn't see anything, man. Ah, straight ahead. Be fine, thanks. Uh, Four nine or nine or Mike cleared across lane. One six altimeter three zero three zero. Arrivals expect visual approach runway one six and runway one two. Landing and departing yeah, intersection runways one six and one two. Yep. Notice the airmen all aircraft contact ground one two one point seven. All VFR departures advise type aircraft in direction of flight. I'm VFR departures be aware of the O'Hare Bravo airspace south of the field. IFR departures expect to pull off five departures. Read back all runway. Hold short instructions and altitude assignments. Advise if you have information, Oscar. Oscar. Executive Aid, it's information Oscar time 0052 Zulu, wind 1205. 3273 Atlantic, VFR, right, taxi cool. Oscar. <laughs> I don't think that's a CRJ for real. I think that's just my default aircraft modeling. And uh, it was pretty slim right now. Last aircraft calling, that was November 13273, correct? That's correct. Uh, Atlantic, VFR, taxi with Oscar. Copy that. Uh, two, 3273. Runway 16, taxi via Lima, Lima 1. 16, Lima, Lima 1, 13273. Executive ground, November 489. Oop, Discord. Discord, I got you. Executive ground, November 489, Echo Foxtrot. Oh my god, it's louder on that 89 Echo Foxtrot, go ahead. Says there, Niner Echo Foxtrot, Atlantic, ready to yeah, taxi via. Be a little bit on the loud side. 89 Echo Foxtrot, runway 16, taxi via Lima, Lima 1. Taxi via Lima, Lima 1 to runway 16, 9 Echo Foxtrot. Okay. You are really loud. Sorry. 3273, contact tower, I'm 119.9. 129, 1323. Oh, that's going to be a tight fit. They're all on X plane, I'm the only one I'm prepared here, so. I'm okay. I'll try that in real life. ground, uh, Kodiak is at Atlantic, ready for taxi for VFR departure. November 3499 or Mike, runway 16, taxi via Lima, Lima 1. 16 via Lima, Lima 1, no, Mike. Try to turn down my volume here for Discord. Sorry about that. Hey guys, is that better on the volume? Affirmative. Sorry about that. 37 Bravo Sierra, monitor tower, I'm 119.9 or .9 or Tower 199, San Bravo Sierra, take care. God, my allergies are just crazy this week. 8 9 -er, Echo Foxtrot, monitor tower, I'm 119 point nine have safe flight. Monitoring tower, November Echo Foxtrot. Hmm. 4 9 -er, 9 -er, Mike, monitor tower, 119 point nine -er. Not a Mike over to tower. <clears throat> Executive ground, November 314, Echo Mike at Atlantic Aviation with Oscar. I'd like to request taxi for a VFR departure to the north. November 314, Echo Mike, Executive ground, runway 16, taxi via Lima, Lima 1. 16 via Lima, Lima 1, November 314, Echo Mike.
look pretty good. We've got traffic on the other side, I believe. We've got to be careful of that. Executive Tower, November 4, 8, on our Echo Fox chart, holding short of runway 16 at Lima 1, ready for takeoff. 8 Niner, Echo Fox chart, be advised you're on ground. Tower's on 1 1 Niner, point Niner. Roger. Executive Tower, Cessna Niner, Echo Fox chart, holding short of run runway 16 at Lima 1, ready for takeoff. And November 489 Echo Foxtrot, uh, wind 120 at 5, runway 16 at Lima 1, uh, clear for takeoff after departure, proceed northbound. Uh, clear for takeoff, that Echo Foxtrot, proceed northbound after, and on departure. Okay, if I trip up on my words one more time, I swear. I don't know if I communicate better in real life or on the sim. I think it's real life, though. <laughs> Gotta be honest with you. Not perfect all the time, but all right. Runway one six. We're down. Excuse Check my next one. Hold short at one six. We're good. Uh, three four nine nine Mike. Here we go. And, uh, Kodiak uh, three four nine nine Mike. Executive tower runway one six. Line up and wait. One six. Line up and wait. Nine nine Mike. Fifty five. Climb at seventy three. There we go. We're going to make a really quick turn to the left. Stay out of class Charlie Aerospace here. We're going to make it really tight as well. So. One three two seven three executive tower leaving my airspace to the north. Spirits to change to advisors approved. Good day. That's a really tight time. Executive tower number four echo Mike holding short of one six at Lima one. Four echo Mike hold short runway one six. Okay. Hold short one six. Clear on the left. Yeah, turn this thing hard. Kodiak 99 Mike, runway 16, wind 1205, uh, on departure, uh, fly heading 360, clear for takeoff. Send a Mike, clear for takeoff, runway 16, fly heading 360, on departure. And uh, 99 Mike, just be advised that previous aircraft was a departing 172, he'll be heading the same way. 99 Mike, for a minute, we'll try and stay off his tail. November 314, Echo Mike, runway 16, line up and wait. Line up and wait, for Echo Mike. Tight turn there, stay out of class, Bravo. I still would be clear though, because I had filed for 2000, just to make sure I had. But uh, we're going like a... Left downward departure here, so... Rolling out, we're at 2,000. Kodiak, 99 Mike, uh, traffic's a Cessna 172, approximately your uh, 10, uh, 10 to 9 o'clock uh, report traffic site. 99 Mike has the traffic, and uh, we'll stay clear of them and try and get ahead. 99 Mike, maintain visual separation from that traffic. 99 Mike. 314 Echo, um, uh, 314 Echo Mike, Executive Tower, wind. 1205 after departure, uh, fly northbound, runway 16, clear for takeoff. After departure, fly northbound, 16, clear for takeoff, November 314, for Mike. Tower 737 Bravo Sierra, short of 16 kilo, remaining in the pattern. November 737 Bravo Sierra, runway 16, line up and wait. Line up and wait, 16, Bravo Sierra. Campbell doesn't have runway lighting. That's interesting. This is not in real life. Milwaukee Tower, Skyhawk 171, Mike Alpha Highlands Park, uh, <laughs> 2800 with Oscar in back. It's always real time with me. That was at uh, November 171, Mike Alpha, you said over Highland Park? Affirmative over Highland Park, uh, Shoreline with Oscar in back. 
November uh, 7 1 one seven one Mike Alpha, Executive Tower. Uh, fly left base runway one six. Report two out. Left base one six. Report two miles. I'll give it an Mike overflight. Alpha. See what it looks like in the sun. See what's. Uh, November four eight nine Echo Fox Trent. Be advised, a uh, Kodiak will be overtaking you on the right side. Roger, looking for traffic. Says a nine Echo Fox Trent. Traffic in sight. Nine Echo Fox Trent. Seven seven three seven Bravo Sierra Executive Tower. Fly right, close traffic, wind, 1205, runway 16, clear for takeoff. Right, close traffic, 16, clear for takeoff, I'm going to Who's flying the Kodiak? That'll be me. Oh, it's nice to see you off my right. Kodiak 99 Mike leaving my airspace uh, for exchange your advisors proof today. Good day, thanks a lot for exchange proof, 99 Mike. And Cessna 89 Echo Fox Trent leaving my airspace in the north for exchange your advisors proof today. Thank you, uh, 9 Echo Fox Trump. Okay, we're back on Uticom, that's him. We're gonna turn a little bit more on the left there to get a more direct route to Campbell. And, see that was runway 16 and it's going to kind of go with the same weather here. Let's see what it looks like for Campbell. They have a runway 9, a runway 6, so we're going to do 9 -er, runway 9 -er. And I will go on the other side of the airport, do a I'm left an airport called Kilo downwind. Perfect, sorry, does, anything, uh, does anyone know anything about me? That was where Meg's used to be, which does not exist in real life anymore, but is apparently in the sim. get the Drewicki design scenery, it's really frame rate hungry, but it's awesome. That's all I'm going to say. Yep, it has one too. It's a great spot. I have uh, New York and Seattle. They're really expensive. Good to grab them on sale. I've got the flight design CTLX. It's great. They go on sale all the time. Campbell traffic, Kodiak is 10 miles to the southeast inbound full stop. Basically direct to Campbell right now. I'm trying to stay at 2000. Stay on the class Bravo. Class Bravo. Schaumburg traffic, Skyhawk 7, Lima X ray, 8 to the, to the north ring. That's for runway 11. Schaumburg. Schomburg traffic, number two, if you want to pop uh, to the mouse is north of the field. Uh, expecting a runway one one full stop. Well, Campbell is not lit in the same, also. Doesn't have lights in real life. Morning, let's going to show up prepared. Are we flying right patterns at Campbell, or should we cross over and do a left? It's right at Campbell. There's a town just to the north. Campbell traffic, Kodiak. I will be entering a right downwind for nine. I'll follow you on that right downwind, then. Say again? I'll follow you on that right downwind. I was going to swing around, but that makes more sense. That sounds good. Okay, traffic pattern at Campbell's. What, 1800? They actually say in the truck supplements that's the airport. 1588. So 1600 actually. Hey guys, can I have the. So we're going to slow this down to a cruising descent, get down to 1600. I just landed at Campbell, and, and when I first took off out of uh, Chicago Executive, you know, I filed my flight plan, and then I, I talked to them. And stuff. Do I have to actually uh, talk to anybody for that flight plan? You know, to uh, file? 
stronger traffic. It's on Troll Field. Do you be a far? You can just go one. make your calls. Camel your traffic. Unicom calls. Camel traffic. Cessna Niner Echo Foxtrot is seven miles out to the southeast, setting up a 45 for runway Niner. Right sorry, did downwind, you know runway Niner. Yes, Echo hello. Fox. Yeah, okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, so you just make uniform calls. You don't have to talk to anyone to get a clearance VFR. You're just VFR in a neutral field. Just make the normal calls you make on uniform. Campbell traffic, Kodiak is turning right base, runway 9. Stronger traffic, number 2, if you want to pop it on. Right final for runway 11. I got a beacon. I don't know if I have runway lighting yet, though. But, uh, cable traffic, November 2 on Taurus Mike, approximately 8 to the southeast inbound for a right 45 downwind, Campbell. Campbell traffic 13273 is uh, 2500, be maneuvering overhead uh, north to south, Campbell. Campbell traffic, Cesar Niner Echo Fox, about 2 miles out in the 45 for the right downwind to runway Niner, Campbell. Campbell traffic, Kodiak, turning final, runway 9. Sean Bird, traffic, 7 Lima, X-ray, behind 251, Papa, for runway 11. Sean Bird. I might have lighting, actually. I was it. Picked the wrong runway there at Campbell for a second. Hard to see at first. There, so prepared is not realistic. Yeah, I just knows, but I didn't think it would up the skirt. Campbell traffic says an Fox Foxtrot downwind for only Nida. Right downwind, runway Nida. Campbell. For a short of time. Stronger traffic, Brian. Copy it on. Now to 19. I just noticed the runway was not too. So, yeah, you're correct. <clears throat> Campbell traffic, Kodiak is back taxing on Niner. Campbell traffic, 13273, 2500, midfield overhead. Hey, Campbell traffic, Kodiak is clear runway 9. Campbell doesn't even have, uh, like, uh, click on lighting or anything? In real life, it does not. Schomburg traffic, 7 Lima X ray on final runway 11, Schomburg. It's a pain. And immediately well, turn the final. There. Chicago looks awesome at this time. Oh my lord, we're very high. Campbell traffic, says a night Foxtrot. Final Wire rally, supervisors Nina. transmitting on unit, huh? Campbell. Mm, solid question. Ah, uh, that was kind of wide there, but we'll Thank fix supervisors it. Supervisors are human. 30 degrees. That wasn't the best setup, stars. but uh, not familiar with the Summer traffic, no 251 pop for uh, for one, one way. 40 degrees. Cable traffic, November 2 on Florida, Mike turning right downwind to runway 9 Campbell. Here we go, we're down. This looks terrible. <laughs> That's alright. Alright. Well, we're on the runway. That's the good news. The bad news, I gotta go all the way to the end to get off of it. I could back taxi, but we'll just move it. <coughs> Flaps up, cargo it off. Not my favorite airport, I'll tell you that. <coughs> it's rolling fast, alright. Now I'm gonna let it die out. Don't mean to be a butthead, but. I feel like it's that wonderful time when it's too dark to see anything, but still too light for X-Plane's lighting to make a difference. 
All right. That's funny. Campbell traffic, says an echo foxtrot, clear of Railway Niner, Campbell. All right, we're gonna taxi that the long way. Schomburg like traffic, Southern Lima X-ray, clear of runway 11, Schomburg. So the consensus is that there is no... Campbell traffic, Kodiak, departing runway 9, usually. intersection departure. Interesting. Campbell traffic, four echo mic turning right base, runway nine or Campbell traffic. Again, I'm gonna have to change the flight plan for our next destination, which is going to be three Charlie Kilo, Lake in the Hills Airport. Traffic Kodak departing traffic area to the north. Campbell traffic says a night echo Fox Rock crossing runway 624 at Campbell. Lake in the Hills traffic, Cock 132735 miles to the east, 2500 inbound. Uh, Lake in the Hills. Let's look at my GPS a little too much there. Mike, it's going to be working there for a second. Campbell traffic, November 314, Mike uh, turning the final runway niner, Campbell traffic. I don't want to drag people over there, so let's turn off here, get my flight plan done, and then we'll uh, go around. I assume for a right hand departure out of Polo, you're just supposed to do a tight hook turn. Turn this thing around. I stay right here so you can go straight out. Let's get that flight plan in there. Okay, V pilot flight plan. Charlie E1. I'm going to three Charlie Kilo. I have about, I don't know, three hours of fuel. And let's check the route there. 2000 should do it. Believe it at 2000. I'm going to save it just in case something happens. File flight plan, and we should be pretty good. I don't like this night lighting in the Coronado, though. I'll tell you that. So, all right, with that, Camel traffic says you're not Echo Foxtrot taxiing to Railway Niner. Camel. Cable traffic, November 214, Echo Mike, back taxiing, runway, Niner, Cable. For some reason, everyone's a CRJ if you don't have the model in my prepared. Schomburg traffic, November 7, Lima, X-ray, taxi, runway 11, Schomburg. Look in the hills, traffic, 13273, left 45, runway 8, look in the hills. I don't know how Campbell traffic, uh, work, Mike. I think I broke something on landing, disconnecting from the network. Campbell traffic. Campbell yeah, traffic, 251 Fox, uh, taxiing to runway 11. Chopper traffic, 3A Romeo is on final for runway 11. Chopper traffic. Got someone, looks to be on final, yeah? Look in the hills, 13273, three, left down one runway 8, look in the hills. So, we might wait for them. And... Three Charlie Kilo. That's it, I have no idea what my loony looks like. It's probably some big-ass jet. Six nautical miles. I think we could do it. Alright, here we go. Campbell traffic, Cesar Niner Echo Foxtrot, departing runway Niner to the west. Campbell. Is that guy really loud for everyone else? Yeah. I'll turn it down again, I'm sorry. I just have to get off the ground first. It's, it's fine on Discord, it's just uh, in that, in that, it's ear piercing. 
I'll get off that thing, just give me a second. Click on the hills, 13273 left base, from way 8. Sorry, that would be annoying back. Click on the hills, traffic, Kodiak, uh, entering uh, left downwind for runway 8 at 45. Campbell traffic, Kodiak, one Mike Delta, North Park, 2000, inbound Campbell. Clear skies, beautiful evening. Take a look at that more. Look at the hills, 13273, final runway, touch and go. I have uh, turned to the left here, so... to get the 1,600 feet. Chumper traffic, we have Romeo on short, final runway, one one Chumper traffic. That's him, you come. How do you read me now? Nine like a fox trap. Not as loud, but it's still uh, overdriven. Video check. Nine like a fox trap. Left there. Thanks. Yeah, that was better. Sorry to make you guys deaf over there. Don't worry about it, some people are almost inaudible, they're so quiet. Look at the hills, traffic, 13273, up on runway, right 45 to the east. Campbell traffic, uh, one mic alpha over, moving the line, looking for wind and traffic information. Any, uh, you went left instead of right. I figured no one would be over here, so... Lincoln Mills traffic, Kodiak, turning left base from my 8, full stop. American Airlines, 2541. Chomper traffic, 7 Lima, X-ray, position and hold, runway 11, Chomper. Chomper traffic, VA Romeo, clear, runway 11, Chomper traffic. Schaumburg traffic, November 7, Lima X-ray, departing runway 11 to the south, Schaumburg. Big Second Mills traffic, uh, Kodiak is short final runway 8, full stop. Campbell traffic, November 314, Echo Mike taxiing to runway 9 er departing uh, to the west, Campbell. Some scenery outside the plane. Schomburg traffic on I-66 here with we'll the departing from one to the next. Schomburg traffic. Campbell traffic, Cessar 9 and Echo Fox Trot, three miles to the north. We're uh, departing to the west. Campbell. Number traffic, so, 251 pop, uh, I don't know if that's old. I'll get a good view of it. There we go. Camera traffic, we had Romeo hold short runway 11. And we're almost on course, so. 
Campbell traffic back on Mike Alpha overhead to Steel 2000. New range enter a left 45 for 09 or Campbell. Chamber traffic, 51 Papa, taking on Bravo 11 to the south. Just about on track here. Campbell Step traffic on uh, November 6th night of uh, uh, taxiing to runway uh, 090 Alpha. Campbell traffic November 214 Michael 6 short runway 9R Campbell. Three Charlie K. Let's see what your chart supplement says. Runway 8. Camel right. traffic, Skyhawk on Mike Alpha, left 45, 0 9 Campbell. We're right on course now, going to Lake in the Hills Airport. Camel traffic, Skyhawk on Mike Alpha, left downwind, runway 9. And they're past the streets, about 1900, so we're right, going to stay right about here. And out to the left. And then we only have two more stops. That's it. We're uh, done with this flight. Camel traffic, Stack on McAlpha left base, zero nine or camel. Down just a little bit, trim it to nineteen hundred. Tim just crashed. Camel traffic, stack on my gal. Final runway nine, full stop. Chopper traffic, Rio Romeo's clear, runway one one. Left downwind departure, number traffic, final call. Traffic, Skyhawk 13273 is five miles to the northwest, descending through 2500. Uh, traffic permitting me making the straight in runway 11, Schomburg. Those headphones sent me for repair, they're supposed to come in tomorrow. So, kind of like them a lot and miss them a lot. But, uh, should be good. Camel traffic, Skyhawk on my go, so we're clear of 0 9 taxi runway 2. If I get down this flying, I'll check the weather for Camel tomorrow, traffic. for real world time. Like departing runway see if we can do it. Yeah, it seems to be licking the hills out there in front of us. So I go slightly to the north of it and do a left 45. Just double checking that. Yep, left 45. Runway 8. Camel traffic stack on my Calvin Clear Ball runway. Going up to the Campbell traffic in November 16th. Already at pattern altitude, so let's keep it here. Campbell traffic, November 16th, Papa is departing uh, uh, on Wednesday on the zero nine. Campbell traffic, Florida, Mike departing on the westbound wind, Campbell. Shopper traffic 13273, three, setting up straight in final. It'll be about a three mile final, runway 11 as the traffic uh, crossing the approach in there. 
Lincoln Hills traffic, says they're not Echo Fox truck, seven miles to the northeast, gonna sit up to 45 for on way eight left down in traffic, Lincoln Hills. Quiet out here. Newest traffic, Skyhawk 7 Lima X ray, 10 to the north for full stop, runway 09, Lewis. Again, this airport, the one before it, had no weather, so you just kind of go with what's going around it, and it's a very short hop there, so this Lake in the Hills. Gone to 2300-ish. Checking out there, clear. Hey Mike, do you mind letting, uh, maybe it doesn't matter, let's let, you let ground problem. know there at uh, Milwaukee that it might crash the desktop. All right, and I'm taking off right now, but once I get in the air, I'll mess here. Not again, Brent. Lake in the Hills traffic, says they're not at Echo Fox, drop plane. F downward, runaway 8, Lake in the Hills. See, that works though, F plane. It is F plane right now. Schomburg 13273, mile and a half straight in, runway 11, Schomburg. Who is trapped in the ride? I'm going to go to the north, uh, for the full stop on the half. Lake in the Hills traffic, November 314, Mike inbound for a full stop for runway 8. Approximately 10 to the east, Lake in the Hills. Well, if you don't, 1900 in real life, it'd be Again, the car now is underpowered. I say that like every single broadcast. 10 degrees, angle down. Trim that down a little bit. Should be about 80. It's looking very good. Can the traffic check? Take a visual of the China. The front mm -hmm. room and I remain in pattern count. Okay, turn the base clear on the left. It's always tricky to do this with the car and auto. You gotta just get used to the feel for it. Lake in the Hills says they're not Echo Fox Drop turning base to final runway 8, Lake in the Hills. See if I got this a little bit better. It's hard to see it for a lot. Five it up really well. The real world again, you're able to see out the left a little bit more than that, so you can actually line it all up. So Alright, another ten degrees, makes thirty. Get down to about seventy. Sixty-five, seventy is fine. Lake and Hills traffic says they're not echo fox trot uh, on final for only eight full stop, Lake and Hills. Camel traffic stack on my calf left eight. Uh, runway nine or two. Camel traffic stack on the downwind runway 9 departing the field again. Lake in the Hills traffic, November 2 and 4, Mike ID, entering a westbound wind on a 45, Lake in the Hills. Flare. Yeah, a little shallow on the flare, but... All right, aerodynamic braking, yokes back, flaps up, car feet off, let it roll. Take Alpha 3 here, as long as I can see it. And you see Alpha 3? Ah, I don't know. That's Alpha 3 right there.
trying to see where the clear line is. There it is. Lake in the Hills, says the night Echo Fox track clear of runway 8. Lake in the Hills. Okay, we'll roll this way. File next flight plan, and our next stop All is... Alright, well I've completed my round robin, so I'm gonna go rogue Stomper. here for a little while. Roger that. Jeffrey, I don't know if you've been counting, but the time I counted, I call Just I counted uh, 19. <clears throat> we had the best hot dog. Camel traffic, Cherokee 328, Bravo, Papa, turning left base, runway 9, or Camel. They were hot dogs? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I think I dumped Executive's hot dog out the window over Campbell. But... Campbell traffic, <laughs> Skywagon 124, my trolley is 8 miles to the south, inbound. Right. Take these strokes oh, off. for a right down on oh, runway nine, anyone? camel traffic. And, uh, might turn off on one of these hangar places here. Yeah. No smoking, no problem. I didn't want to go on the grass, though. That's terrible. Hey, it's people traffic. to greet me, yay! Turning final runway Very nine. close. Okay. Watch out for the prop wash. Alright. Starboard traffic, 13273 is departing one way, one one left 45. Right, Starboard traffic, now we're true on four, I can like left down, left runway eight, Lake in the Hills. And we're going to go to Schaumburg, which is 06 Charlie. Lake in the Hills, this is November 6298, Papa. I am actually behind four. Six, eight, two thousand, gonna be good. Uh, and we'll be entering no. uh, left downward. I'm gonna say 1800 because we have to get under class Bravo there. So, interesting. That's gonna be really tight. But this is probably gonna be one of the most nerve wracking parts of this flight tonight. But we're good. good. Anyone on the left? No. He's coming in for the landing though. Alright, All right, before we do that, Schumberg is 06 Charlie, right? Yep. Pan altitude there is 1601, 800 feet above the ground. So we're going to skim class Bravo's um, floor and go to 1800 and get in there again. What was for? 1600. Okay. Like in the hills, traffic. How come my gal for Wakanda at uh, 2000 inbound? Like Lake in the Hills traffic, November 2 and 4, come like turning left base, runway mm -hmm. 8, Lake in the Hills. Okay. I'm not going to call my taxi, I'm just going to keep an eye out here, so. Here we go. On right, Alpha. Pretty nice scenery. I can't, I think this is Orbex. Probably the default airport. Again, this is prepared for scenery, but it works in five. Once in a while, it recopies the taxiway signs. But, uh, we're good. We're going runway eight. See your approach fails like handing out a Bravo clearance. Bravo transition. Camel traffic, Cherokee 328, Bravo popping, departing mm -hmm. pattern in the west. Yeah. Has some traffic out there, gotta be careful. Put an angle here. No one to downwind, no one to base, no one to file, no one to crosswind. Okay. Lake in the Hills traffic says there's nine Echo Fox trot departing runway eight departure to the southeast. Uh, Lake in the Hills. Okay, good. Stoves are going back on. Here we go. Sure that's not two six? No, that's wrong with eight. Lake and Hills traffic, Skyhawk, one Mike Alpha, five miles to the northwest inbound, uh, 2300 Lake and Hills. Echo Fox, right, you're at 26. Camel traffic, Skywagon 124, Mike Charlie is joining the right now and for a full stop. Camel that would traffic. Be correct. I'm just going to go for it. Correction, at Lake Nails traffic says no, 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 ah, Nina Echo Fox Trot departing runway 26 at Lake in the Hills. Okay, here we go. 
Just gotta go. Lake in the Hills traffic, uh, November 314, Echo Mike is inbound. Uh, I'm turning final now. Reporting takeoff, and Echo Foxtrot. Clear this, then we'll start at 8. That was dumb to do anyways. So. Lake Nails traffic, November 314, Mike going around. Okay. Lake in the Hills. Lake in the Hills traffic, Scott, one Mike Alpha, we're entering on a left 45 for runway 08, Lake in the Hills. Lake in the Hills says they're not an Echo Fox track clear of runway 26, Lake in the Hills. <clears throat> Sorry about that, I was just gonna gun it, but... Real life? Probably wouldn't do that. Sim just wanted to get up there, but that's alright. That was a dumb decision on my part. Camel traffic, Skywagon 4, Mike Charlie is turning final for runway 9. <laughs> Camel traffic. Lake of the Hills, November 16th, Papa will be turning final runway 08. Are we clear down there? You are clear. Thank you, 98 Papa. I'm turning uh, final in about uh, half a mile, one mile. Lake in the Hills traffic, Scott, from Mike Alpha, left Allen, 0A, Lake in the Hills. Lake in the Hills traffic, November 314, Echo Mike, left crosswind, Lake in the Hills. Sorry for the douche move. for this traffic right here. No need to rush, you know. Sometimes you can need this to wake yourself up. For my trolley is clear, taxiing back to runway 9, we're gonna cross the other runway in Campbell. Mm -hmm. Lake Mills traffic, 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 Outside scenery here. All waiting. Like in the hill, traffic track on my couch, turning final, and we zero eight full stop. Like in the hill. Cable oh. traffic, Skyway one two four, my trolley is departing runway nine, left downwind departure to the west. Campbell. Waiting for you now, sir. I love my lesson. Traffic across from 6535 Golf is 8 miles to the south and bound right down on runway 9 there, Campbell. Yeah, sometimes you do something Lake really stupid. Really have a full size pappy in real life. Lake in the Hills traffic, November 314, come Mike, left base, runway 8, Lake in the Hills. Lake in the Hills traffic, November 618, Papa's clear, still drumming 09, uh, taxiing via Alpha. Please clear. Lake in the Hills traffic, Scott. One mic out clear the runway at Lake in the Hills. Lake in the Hills says the Nine Echo Fox Trot departing runway 8, departure to the south. Uh, Lake in the Hills. Camel traffic, Scott, waiting for my trolley departing to the west. Southwest, last call. Camel traffic. Lake in the Hills traffic, Fork, Mike turning final. Runway 8, Lake in the Hills. 
I'm gonna wait for him. Four echo mics disconnecting. Alright. Lincoln Hills traffic says that an Echo Fox drive departing while we eight. Uh departure to the south. Lincoln Hills. That was interesting. Echo traffic says three thousand off is uh five miles to the south. We're gonna be over find the field at <coughs> two thousand two hundred and then spring left down lines runway nine or Campbell. Alright, here we go. Floor. All right, to part two. Straight out for a little bit so we get to pan an altitude. Actually, we'll probably get to 1800. And uh, turn to the south. Gotta be really careful here when I get to the class bravo. We're gonna go a little deeper. Towards the center of Class Bravo. Second Hill traffic, Cherokee 328 Bravo Papa 5 in the northeast, entering a left down the runway 8, Dutch Hill, Lincoln Hills. Lincoln Hills traffic, Skywagon 124, Mike Charlie is joining the party 10 to the northeast. We'll be entering the left downwind for runway 8 and a full stop, Lincoln Hills. Cardinal 410 Hotel Alpha, 10 miles mm -hmm. to the uh, south uh, east. We're inbound to enter left. And the floor of class bro is 3,600 here, so we don't have problems when we get in there. Lake in the Hills traffic, Skyhawk 1 Mike Alpha, runway 08 right, crosswind departure, Lake in the Hills. Lake in the Hills traffic, Skyhawk 124, Mike Charlie, Cherokee 328. Yeah. <clears throat> Could have got a little bit better flying there, won't lie. At least I admit to my mistakes and we'll move on. Here to keep it at 1,800 as we get closer. Lake Mills traffic tackle, Mike Alpha, right cross with 08, departing the field. Lake Mills. Traffic's back there, going very well. And Lake Mills uh, check traffic, Cherokee 328, that's problem possible, left down runway 8, touching the lane. Couple traffic, so three five off and we'll be field left down on Dragon Mine and our Campbell. Alright, we seem to have some te tactical difficulties here, so if I have to, I will put you on standby. Yeah, crashed. Says the 9 Echo Fox dot disconnecting. And I'll be back with you as soon as I get these symbol loaded again, or if it starts working again, we'll have to see. I don't think it's working. I'll be right with you.
again, we're having technical difficulties. Uh, I'm trying to restart the simulator after it's crashed. And we will pick up from there, so I appreciate your patience. technical difficulties we are going to end the stream here and we'll pick up where we left off i have to reboot uh thank you